Lamborghini is known for making some of the most powerful sports cars in the world. Let's be honest, we've all dreamt about driving at least one Lamborghini sometime in our life. While most of us will never achieve that dream, it's still fun to fantasize. When you're dreaming, you might want to know what the fastest Lamborghini ever made is. Many people guess at what the fastest Lamborghini ever created was, but few people actually know the answer. Do you think you know? Let's find out. Number 1. Lamborghini Diablo Coda Top speed 239 miles per hour While the original Diablo is impressive in itself, this reworking takes the spot as the fastest Lamborghini ever made. It features a top speed of 239 miles per hour and goes from 0 to 60 in just 3.54 seconds. It was produced in Mexico through Automotive's Lamborghini Latino America, SA. They've been in business since 1995 with the purpose of distributing Lambos in Latin America. This racing model was only available to private buyers and has a limited run. Because it's bespoke, the craftsmen specifically designed the steering wheels based on the hand measurements of the customer. In addition, the seat comes from a mold from the customer, plus the company takes into account the weight of the person driving it. Finally, they adapt the pedal positions of this car match the driver's height. It just doesn't get more customized than that. Number 2. Lamborghini Gallardo Dallas Performance Stage 3 Top speed 233 miles per hour Dallas Performance, the Texas tuning experts, created this monster which has a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 2.8 seconds. This first stage featured 650 horsepower with a modified twin turbocharged setup. Then they added 93 octane fuel plus VPC-16 race fuel to bump the horsepower up to 800. Stage 3 is the real beauty because it takes the engine to over 1200 horsepower when combined with VPC-16 race fuel. Of course, all these engine upgrades ran somewhere around $90,000 before you count all the other accessories. Some of these include cat delete pipes, ECU mapping and dyno tuning, a high flow exhaust system, high flow inlet system, plus the E85 fuel conversion. It's a strong contender as the fastest Lamborghini, but falls just slightly short. Lamborghini Murcielago LP750 Edo Competition Top speed 227 miles per hour Edo Competition, a German tuner, took the Lamborghini Murcielago and made it even better. It has a 0 to 60 mile per hour of 3.1 seconds. To create this beast, they needed to make a good amount of mechanical alterations. This included a new air intake system featuring intake ducts, updated cylinder heads, an ECU mapping, custom-made inlet manifold, and high-flow exhaust. Then they added on high-performance catalytic converters and exhaust headers. They didn't stop there, but also put on more aggressive bucket tappets, camshafts, exhaust tips, and mufflers. Now you understand how this could make the list of the fastest Lamborghini. From a purely cosmetic side, you'll notice the newly designed lip spoiler, adjustable wing on the rear, and new black paint that looks angry with its green headlines. Number 4. Lamborghini Aventador LP900 4 Molto Veles DMC Top speed 224 miles per hour. 0 to 60 time of 2.5 seconds, this car deserves to be on the fastest Lamborghini list. EMC, another set of German tuners, 
worked on this LP700 to make it what it is now. You might wonder what the 900 means. It's the horsepower. This car started off with just 691 horsepower and now features 885 horsepower. Many people really like the unique magma-like paint colors. The aggressive appearance is further enhanced by the large wing spoiler on the rear, new side skirts, a rear diffuser, and updated intake ducts. Then DMC replaced the original car's existing exhaust system and put on titanium piping. This reduced the system's weight up to 90%. The performance kit also replaced the overhead throttle valves of a stock V12 with single intake throttle plates instead. It received one per cylinder. Some of the other features include its reprogrammed ECU, new lines and pumps. Finally, the wheels are accented with magma color spokes on matte black rims. Number 5. Lamborghini Diablo BTTT. Top speed 222 miles per hour. Maybe you've never seen this option as the fastest Lamborghini before. That's because Platinum Motors only made six cars. They are a Southern California Lamborghini dealership with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of just 3.2 seconds. It's sure to impress everyone that gets inside. This modified supercar features a twin Garrett T4 water-cooled turbochargers and custom intercoolers. On top of that, the cylinder heads feature polished ports and wastegates are electronically controlled. This car comes with an electric fuel injection system that's reprogrammed, plus the competition-style valves that have racing guides. The improved acceleration comes from the shorter ratio gearbox, plus the custom twin plate Kevlar clutch that handles the additional torque. They then upgraded the brakes with ventilated cross-drill discs plus brake pads made of carbon fiber. There are three different engine settings through one switch on the dash. This includes two varying degrees of turbocharging boosts. One boosts 6 PSI while the other offers 9 PSI of boost. Then the third engine setting is valet mode, which puts it in limited functionality. If you think this car is cheap, you couldn't be more wrong. The Diablo BTTT runs about $500,000, which is double the price of a stock BT. Number 6. Lamborghini Reventon. Top speed. 221 miles per hour. You might have seen this car at the Frankfurt Auto Show back in 2007. As of now, it's the most expensive road Lamborghini to date. That's because it runs about 2 million. It also features a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.4 seconds. There were a total of 20 sold to the public customers and an additional one made specifically to go in the Lamborghini Museum. All of its mechanical elements came from a Murcielago LP640, but the exterior design sought inspiration from higher velocity aircraft. The name comes from a well-known Spanish bull. This fighter was raised by the famous Don Heriberto Rodriguez family. The reason that Reventon, the bull, was so notorious was because he killed Felix Guzman, a professional bullfighter in 1943. The name Reventon actually means first or small explosion in Spanish. So it's a fitting name for this powerhouse of a car. Number seven, Lamborghini Aventador LP700 or Mansory. Top speed 220 miles per hour. Mansory, German tuners, unveiled this supercar during the 2012 Geneva Motor Show. It features a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 2.8 seconds. It's based on a 12 cylinder Aventador LP704, but comes with a completely redesigned body. This includes larger air inlets to improve the ventilation updated driving lights, a new front lip, as well as updated bonnet and modern front wings. 
In total, they added 40 millimeters to the width of the car and another 50 millimeters on its rear. Then they added some new side seal sets, carbon fiber covers, and upgraded engine covers. In addition, you might notice the higher performing exhaust system and updated engine management, which increased the horsepower to 754. Inside the cabin, there are newer components constructed of carbon fiber, a leather dashboard, and leather seats. It also comes complete with aluminum pedals and a modern sports steering wheel with an airbag. Number 8. Lamborghini Veneno, top speed 220 miles per hour. When the Veneno was first produced in 2014, it was the most expensive production car in the world. I guess that's why there were only three of them made, plus one convertible. While it doesn't top our fastest Lamborghini, it sure does win a lot of points for style. This model was based on the Aventador and features a V12 engine with 740 horsepower. It's completely aerodynamic and constructed of carbon fiber. That helps to give it an extraordinary power to weight ratio. Number 9. Lamborghini Aventador LV704. Top speed 217 miles per hour. You might have originally seen this Lambo during the Geneva International Motor Show in 2011. That's when they officially launched this beauty. It features a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 2.9 seconds and was designed as a replacement for the Murcielago when it reached 10 years old. Lamborghini only made 4,000 units. That included eight modes to produce the carbon fiber build, or 500 units apiece. Once they started making them, it took them 15 months to build the initial 1,000 units for customers. This Aventador utilizes a suspension that looks like a Formula One creation. You might think it looks a lot like the Estoque or Reventon. It does receive its power from a 6.5 liter V12 engine that produces 690 horsepower. Again, this car was named after a famous fighting bull from Spain. Number 10. Lamborghini Diablo GTR. Top speed 217 miles per hour. If you aren't sure about the toughness of this Lamborghini, you would simply need to evaluate the name. In Spanish, Diablo means devil. Lamborghini produced this iconic car from 1990 through 2001, and it features a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.5 seconds. It was actually the Italian automaker's first car to go over 200 miles per hour. In 2001, they replaced it with the Murcielago instead. While the GT version was produced in 1999, the GTR didn't follow until a year later. It utilizes the same 6-liter V12 as the GT, but has a more refined ignition and fuel system on board. Other differences include the updated variable valve timing, lighter crankshaft, more dynamic air intake system, plus some connecting rods made of titanium. The GTR didn't just reduce the weight and strip some of the interior, but it also offered more power. Of course, it helped that they took out the stereo and air condition systems to reduce weight. They also removed any aspect that heat or soundproof the vehicle. Sitting in the cabin of this car truly helped drivers to feel like a racing legend. The single seat came equipped with a six-point harness roll cage, plexiglass windows, fresh air intake, fire suppression system, plus a racing steering wheel. Other interesting features include the 18-inch center lock wheels, emergency fuel shutoff switch, air jacks to raise it in the pits, and a massive spoiler. 